My name's Danny Fleming of MA Properties. I'd like to introduce Lisa Lupo to you. So Lisa, how long have you been working at MA Properties? I've been with MA Properties a little over two years. Has it been that long already? Yes, I know. It, it's <laughs> surprising when I actually sat there and thought about it because it's gone by so quickly and it's yeah. been such a great experience that yes, time has flown by. And so tell me, what, you, what is your role? What do you do? So I'm the staging coordinator. So I oversee the stagings of the listings that we bring onto the market. Fill us in a little bit more about what the staging coordinator role is. Pretend I don't know anything about it. Tell us what, it, what, what the role is. Sure, so as a staging coordinator, I meet, meet with the homeowners of the house and we develop a staging plan. So basically yep. what we'll be bringing in for furniture and decor. Yep. I send them a summary um, and we chat a little bit about what the next steps are and then I go into our staging office and start to pull the furniture and decor for the home. I have a great team that works with me and we create the plan and then we bring the merchandise to the home on the day of the staging and we bring in some great furniture and decor and the homes end up looking amazing and it's, it's really fun. So tell me, when you come up with a staging summary, what's in the summary? Because I know what's in the summary and, and a lot of sellers really like what's in the summary. Yeah, so the so staging summary is kind that. of a plan of action. So yep. I list all the rooms in the house because we stage every single room. Yep. So within the summary, I list each room, what I'll be bringing in for furniture and decor. My, if it's a vacant home, we bring everything in. If a seller is living in the home, we actually work with what they have and we bring in supplemental furniture and decor. So it's more outlining exactly what we'll be bringing into their home. So I've heard from some sellers before they've they've started talking to you, they get really confused and they think they've got to move all of their furniture out. You know, they're still living in the home and they think that they need to move all of their furniture out. Do they? No, no, of course not. I mean, if there's things that they absolutely don't want to move out or if they can't move it out, then we just work with them. I mean, you yeah. know, at the end of the day, we want to make sure that they are comfortable, what the plan is going forward, and I don't want to cause any undue stress to them. Yeah. Is it the same plan for every home that we bring on the market? Uh, not necessarily. I mean, every home is unique. And I want to make sure that when I'm staging the home, I'm, I'm working towards the character of their home. So every home is going to present a little bit differently, just depending upon um, the characteristics of the yeah. home. And the furniture that we bring in, let's say it's a contemporary style home. Do you bring traditional furniture in? No, I'd be <laughs> no. I'd try to lean more towards the contemporary because I yeah. want to make sure that the home reflects the best it can be um, yeah. regarding, especially the style of the home. Right, and we've got something like twenty housefuls worth of furniture, haven't we? Yes, we have a lot yeah. of furniture. So yeah, we've always got plenty to work with. Yeah. So in the whole process, when would a seller meet with you, and when do you do what you need to do? So I typically meet with sellers in the beginning of the process. When I'm going to their home for a pre-staging visit, that's when yep. they're typically there and we walk through their home. Yep. And I do communicate with them via email because um, during each step, because when staging day comes, they're, uh, no, they're well aware when I'm coming and sometimes yep. they're even there for a bit. Yep. Um, and then when I have to destage the home, there's another email that goes out to them. So we touch base frequently throughout yeah. the process, but it's more, I'm meeting them on the initial pre-staging visit. Okay. What part do you like most about what you do on a day-to-day -day basis? So there's a lot of different things I like about the job. <laughs> I mean, yeah, like the, the pulling of the, the home, the more the creative part where you're, you've got your staging plan and you're pulling for the living room, the bedrooms, the dining, the decor. That's fun. And actually the staging, actual staging day is fun. I get a little bit of rush of excitement like to go into a home and be able to work with like an empty slate yep. or even like a partially furnished home and be able to bring it to like something that looks so beautiful when I leave. It's yeah. very gratifying. Oh yeah. Tell us of an experience that was a really positive one. So I recently staged a home for um, a family and I got some really great feedback where they said that actually they wanted to buy their home. They, were, yeah. they just were so happy with how the staging came out. And it made me feel really good because you want to make sure that every seller has an experience like that, or I strive yeah. to. You know, yeah. you want them to be happy yeah. at the end of the day. Um, so that was a really good experience, just, oh, just awesome. hearing their feedback. Yeah, that's awesome.
Why don't you tell us a little bit more about who you are? I mean, I know some of it, but I don't know all of it. So let's see if you can surprise me with stuff I don't know. <laughs> Well, a little bit. Well, I live in uh, Burlington, Mass. I have been there for over 20 years. Um, I didn't know you'd been there that long. Yes. I mean, I grew up in North Reading, so okay. I didn't stray too okay. far from yeah. where I grew up. Um, so I'm there with my husband, and I have two daughters. One of them is a nurse at Leahy Hospital in Burlington, and the other one is still in college. Right. And I have two dogs. Otis is a little Shih Tzu Yorkie. He's senior. He's 11. And Daisy's a Golden Doodle who's three, and she's quite a handful, um, but she's calmed down a lot. So I remember many times where you got phone calls with the girls taking Daisy to the vet and and the vet calling you. Tell us tell us what Daisy's very naughty at. Yes, Daisy is naughty. She is a pup. She would eat anything and everything, socks, toys. <laughs> so it was a lot of trips to the vet to get her like <laughs> induced and vomiting and yes so it was trial she was a very naughty pup um, she's grown into a very good girl though i've got to say so she's gone past that yes. eating anything she can yes, possibly get she in doesn't do that anymore so what do you like to do in your free time so in my spare time i do like to i, I walk the dogs and hang with them of course but i also yeah. like to go up to um lake winnipesaukee up in new hampshire my parents live up by there so oh I didn't know that. You see, I'm learning things about you just by doing this. Okay. Yeah. So as a child, I spent a lot of summers there. And it's something where I've always gravitated towards going to every summer. And my, with my parents up there, my kids are very used to going up there with me. Even as adults, they still enjoy going with me. So, yeah, I do. Uh, and then there's I also like to go to different stores up there. There's a lot of thrift stores, consignment stores. Where you can just find interesting things in pieces. So I like to poke around and do that as well. So tell us what your favorite restaurant is. So I have a lot of different ones I yeah. like to go to, but I would think I like Seasons 52 in Burlington. Yeah. I like the atmosphere. Yeah. Um, I like a good Mexican restaurant. I was going to say, have you got any particular preferences for food? Yeah, and I like Mexican food, and, and I'm, I'm really not that picky, anything. Yeah. But yeah, I do, do kind of hone in on those two restaurants. So tell us what you would like your future to encompass. My future. Yeah. You what know, do you see in your future? You know, I'm very of course happy in my role I well that's a good answer that. yeah. yes <laughs> that i see um yeah for my husband and i maybe we've just talked about maybe downsizing going to a different house at some point yeah. but that's all just not so in the near future yeah. you know um i'm just looking forward to watching the girls continue growing and succeeding in their um oh, that's awesome yeah in their worlds and i'm really happy for them so cool yeah well Thank you, Lisa. I learned. I did. I learned. I learned a lot from um, chatting with you, and uh, and I hope um, I hope it wasn't as as painful an experience doing this as you thought it may have been. No, no, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> well, Lisa Lufo, our staging manager of MA Properties. Thank you so much. You're welcome.